Basically, it's, it's the approach when you're going to start setting the camera because it's not just to have like a camera going from A to B on straight lines, just be a bit more interesting and be more creative when you set up because, yeah, you can have a very nice start and end point, but how you go from A to B is going to make a difference, it's going to tell a different story. Maybe you have um, your wallet sitting in a table, so you know that from where you are, that's point A and the table with the wallet's point B. So you can just go natural and grab it, or you can just sneak in and still it's gonna grab the wall, but you're gonna give a different feeling. So it's like, a, yeah, I forgot my wallet, I'm just gonna go and get it, I suppose, I'm just gonna go stole someone else's wallet. So it's just different ways to, to tell the same story. You have a whole apartment that you want to show, so you need to know, okay, I'm starting in the living room, and then if I go to the bedroom, uh, I just need to have that hint of the bedroom in the previous path so I can keep connections between the spaces. Otherwise, the people that's gonna look at that for the first time can be just lost. Keeping the, the movement and the speed is the real value of your sim. So if it's where you're gonna actually be able to tell the story, 